Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Well, another important uh, service we have on the Kapiti Coast is our Kapiti Coast Guard. Now, hopefully they haven't been called out over this time because we're not supposed to be on the water, but I just thought we'd check in with the President, Jerry Barden, just to see how they would handle such a situation. Good morning, Jerry. Morning. Welcome to the program. Yes, I don't suppose you've been called out, have you? <laughs> no, we haven't. I believe a couple of um, units elsewhere in the country have been, but thankfully people locally have been observing the rules. Excellent. If you were called out, Jerry, I suppose that creates a little bit of a, a problem for you, doesn't it? Getting the manpower to do it and um, you know abiding by all the rules? Um, I wouldn't say it creates a problem. We've got plans in place so that we know what we'll do. We know who's going to go. Yes. Um, but obviously we don't want to do it. We Any time that we get called out during the lockdown, um, it basically means that we're all having to leave our uh, bubbles. Right. And <clears throat> that carries risks of its own. So uh, if we're needed, we are ready to go at any time, just like we always are all year round. Um, but, yeah, we'd we'd rather not get the call. We'd That's right. We'd rather just obey the rules. So do you have a sort of dedicated team which would be available if necessary? Um, kind of, yeah. It's just select people from our um, our normal volunteer crew. So when I say select people, we've ruled out anyone that's already part of another essential service. For example, we have a few people in our unit who are members of the fire service, uh, the police, that kind of thing. So we wouldn't take them out. We have a couple of other people in higher risk categories. So what we've done is basically look at um, who's available in our unit and just narrow it down to the minimum. Good. Oh, well, that's fair enough too. Now, of course, you've got this lovely new uh, rescue boat down there. I suppose you've got to look after that while it's in storage, you might say. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, actually, I'd, I'd also say we have two bases, one at Parapram, one at Waikanine. We've got a rescue boat at each base. Yes. So um, the shiny new one gets all the attention at the moment, which is fair enough. But what I'm about to say actually applies to both of them. Um, one of the things we still have to do is go down there and do regular monthly checks on them, maintenance, um, repairs, etc., on the tractors if necessary. And all of that is essential so that if we do get a call, we're ready to go at a moment's notice. Fair enough too. And do you have any virtual training for your crews who may not be involved in this if it was necessary, but do you do any online training for them? I just heard from the Waikanae Volunteer Fire Brigade, that's the way they're doing their training. So do you do anything like that? Yeah, we do. Um, the Coast Guard does have quite a lot of um, online training and there's more of it coming as well. Yes. Um, our training officer has actually started sending out um, informal quizzes as well just to keep people on their toes and they're they're really good. So yeah, there's plenty that we can still keep doing even while we're not allowed to um, meet up as we normally would. Good on you. Jerry, good to hear from you. Just to let us know that it's you're still there and you're still ready to go out if it's necessary, which we hope won't be necessary, but you never know, do you? No, you never do, but so far people on the Capiti Coast have been really good. Good on you. Thanks, Jerry. We'll just keep in touch with you just to check that everything's in place. And um, you have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thank you, Jerry Barden, the president of the Capiti Coast Coast Guard. Haven't been called out yet. Hopefully they won't be. 106.3 BGFM.